Today we will be unlocking the Painting Center Tools and Materials. You will be able to use temper cakes, watercolor paint, paintbrushes and water cups, aprons, the drying rack, and there's a binder with lots of techniques to try and different artists who paint. You can also use any of these books that showcase different artists that paint. Before you start painting, be sure to write your name on your paper. Also make sure that you put on an apron before you begin. To use these paints, you have to first wet your brush. Make sure that you wipe your brush gently on the side of the cup so that you don't create splatters. It is also important to clean your brush in the water before you switch colors. Be careful that you don't add too much water to the paper or else it will rip. It is important to only mix colors on your paper or else the paints will look like this and no one will want to use them. When you finish, carry your paper with two hands over to the drying rack. One technique you could try is called wet on wet. First you wet your paper with water and then you can add paint. Look how the paint expands. If you accidentally spill any paint, grab a sponge next to the sink and wipe it up. There should only be one person at the sink at a time. Gently push the lever up on the sink and then make sure you get all the paint out of the paintbrush bristles. To clean the cup, just rinse it out with water a couple times. You can put your brush back inside the container with the hair in the air. Your cup can go on the drying rack. Now that my painting has dried, I can add another layer to it. You can try this too by painting the background one class, letting it dry, and then painting on top of that the following class. You can also turn your dried paintings into a collage. Here I'm turning my wet on wet technique paper into raindrops that are very colorful. Here are some examples of artists who paint. Now it's your turn to explore these techniques in your own painting. Music 